coming back to the next question. In cyclotrimetaphosphoric acid, the number of single and double bonds that are present in it. I will have to devise it again. Therefore, let me count again. It is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Hope you have understood. But there is another link as I said that is 10, 11, 12 because there is a bond that is existing between oxygen and hydrogen. Therefore, total number of single bonds that I have in this is 12. Total number of double bond that I have is 1, 2 and 3. Therefore, there are 3 double bonds and 12 single bonds. Hope you have understood. Therefore, the option, the correct answer is option C, 3 double bonds and 12 single bond. That is option C is my right answer. A student in the previous question we wanted to calculate the oxidation state of the central atom example ammonia in ammonia nitrogen is the central atom if I want to calculate the oxidation state of the central atom example ammonia as I mentioned I need to know the valence electron that it possesses nitrogen forget for example I do not know what is the atomic number I need to know which group it belongs to nitrogen belongs to group 15 therefore valence electrons in this is 5 therefore I write 5 plus I add the number of monovalent atoms that are linked to it hydrogen is a monovalent atom the number of monovalent atoms that I have is 3 therefore I add 3 and divide the entire concept by 2 therefore 8 divided by 2 I get the answer as 4 I don't have the hybridized state students I want you to learn this concept if you know to get this number you can easily predict what is the hybridized state for example if the number is 2 the hybridization state is sp if the number is 4, the hybridized state is sp3. If the number is 5, the hybridized state for this is sp3d. If the number is 6, hybridized state of this would be sp3d2. And finally, if it is 7, sp3d3. By all probability, I got the answer as 4. It is sp3 hybridization. It is for ammonia in the previous question. Coming back again, what is the hybridized state of phosphorus in PCl5? If it is PCl5, again I am reminding you, the central atom here is phosphorus. Phosphorus belongs to group 15. Group 15 valence electrons are 5. Chlorine is a monovalent atom. 5 chlorine atoms are there. 5 plus 5, 10. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Therefore, my correct option would be sp3d. Therefore, this is my correct option, option A. To train you all with one more question, think about it as I am talking to you. If I give you iodine heptafluoride, just like that I am trying my student, just try it out. Iodine heptafluoride. I do not know what is the atomic number of iodine. Excellent. I all need to know is which group it belongs to. It belongs to group 17. Iodine belongs to group 17. 7 valence electron. Fluorine is a monovalent atom. 7 plus 7, 14. 14 divided by 2 again is 7. Therefore, my answer would be sp3d3. Hope you got it. Therefore, never make a mistake in calculating hybridization state. <music> Dear students, in this question, the sulphate and a metal has the formula M2SO4 thrice. What would be the formula of its phosphate? This is one of the basics in chemistry. You should be knowing this. To formulate the answer for this, let us try deriving from the question that is being put forth. We have it as M2SO4 thrice. I understand that 
it is written in the form of m plus 3 so4 2 minus arguably you can understand that my metal is 3 plus sulfate is 2 minus he clearly specifies in the question what would be the formula of its phosphate i understand that my metal would still remain as m3 plus phosphate I remember the formula of phosphate po4 3 minus according to the basics in chemistry you should be understanding that plus 3 plus plus 3 and 3 minus get cancelled therefore it is mpo4 therefore the correct and the right option is option d mpo4 hope you have understood let me try illustrating it once again if I happen to change the combination, what would be the formula of its sulphide? Of its sulphide. That means I am trying to work in the fashion of M3 plus. Sulphide happens to be S2 minus. Then the necessary answer is M2 S3. Hope you have got it according to the crisscross methodology. Let me try for another basic and the most important in P block is to analyze the magnetic character and property of various oxides of nitrogen. To remember the code word to apply for these type of question, I would like to give this code word. Nitrogen belongs to group 15. Number of valence electrons 5. Oxygen belongs to group 16 number of valence electrons is 6 so wherever i find nitrogen i write it as plus 5 wherever i find it as oxygen i write it as plus 6 i am talking in terms of valence electrons let me try adapting this which of the following oxides of nitrogen is paramagnetic in nature i understand paramagnetic presence of an unpaired electron diamagnetic does not contain an unpaired electron by all probability if i try to find the magnetic character of this according to the logic that i have said nitrogen plus 5 oxygen it is plus 6 let me try it out nitrogen plus 5 i remember telling 5 into 2 10 10 plus 6 happens to be 16. Good. Calculate the total number of valence electron. Come back again. N2O5. 5 into 2, 10. 6 into 5, 30. 10 plus 30 happens to be 40. Fine. Very good. NO2. Nitrogen dioxide. Nitrogen 5. Oxygen 6 into 2 happens to be 12. 12 plus 5 is 17. Option D, nitrogen 5 into 2, 10. Oxygen 6 into 3, 18. 18 plus 10 happens to be 28. If you happen to look into all the answers in this particular question, you have a mixture of odd and even. Remember the code word, paramagnetic presence of an unpaired electron it should certainly be an odd number. Odd number in this is 17, that is NO2. Therefore, the correct and the right answer is NO2. To summarize it, you have to calculate the total number of valence electron. Nitrogen belongs to group 5. Oxygen belongs to group 6. Add up together. If you get an odd number, paramagnetic in nature. If you get an even number, diamagnetic in nature. We shall work few more to get a gist of this problem. The next question, which of the following is an anhydride of nitric acid? These compounds should be dealt in such a way that whenever you are studying any compound, try to learn the preparation properties uses this will definitely help you in CET. Now in nitric acid if I happen to remember 
which of the following is an anhydride of nitric acid? I mentioned that you should be learning the properties clearly. Let's try to understand this. My nitric acid, which is HNO3, the basic in nitric acid. Nitric acid, difference of one oxygen atom in this will lead to HNO2, which is nitrous acid. Reading it once again. Nitric acid, difference of one oxygen atom, nitrous acid. Same logic applied for phosphoric acid, difference of one oxygen atom, phosphorus acid. Now my question, which of the following is an anhydride of nitric acid? I'll try to write this, my nitric acid, HNO3. I'll try to rewrite this formula once again as NO2. OH, one and the same, HNO3. I'll remove water molecule from here. I get what is known as N2O5. Therefore, the correct and the right option is N2O5 is the right answer. Let me attempt one more.